Hi, Sean from Phil and Sean's Vintage Model Radio Museum with an example of a single channel boat actuator. This is called the Kinematic, manufactured by, uh, distributed by Grautner in Germany, and it was a sequential actuator. So, what it gave you was one press would give you, say, right, and then the next press would give you left, next press right, in between you got neutral state, and you had triggering for the throttle. Uh, this one was wired up so that one press, a quick blip, would give you, say, forward, next quick blip neutral next quick blip, reverse, etc. Um, on and on. You did obviously have some remembering to do, but um, as it was generally used in slow moving boats, if you put a, a wrong signal key, it didn't matter. So the throttle, and it will be difficult to see actually LEDs which represent the forward and reverse, but you can hear the change of tone. So there you go, one way, neutral, opposite way, neutral. So I hope that makes sense. As you can see, the actuator doesn't cycle. In the same sense that an escapement would. Uh, you get a full cycle, you've got a little kick on this every time. So, to the rudder control now, as there's no transmitter on this, it doesn't trigger very cleanly. But uh, as you can see, you get one movement, opposite way, one way, opposite way. You wanted to move it obviously as I'm doing, you're having to give double presses to get the same action again. So if you needed to do a constant right turn, you would have to effectively do that and then do a double press to get you back again. And it always goes back to neutral. So there we are. Quirky device that uh, clearly escapements work practical in boats with the, the length of rubber. Um, there were better mechanisms than this, this was quite big. Um, there were electric actuators which were not electromechanical as this is um, and you could use those successfully in boats and aeroplanes.